and you lucky. Huh. Anyways, no, you that was, lucky. That was you chance lucky. number two. Do you, do chance you number see two. Me? Do you see me? Boy, bye. Do you see me? Yeah, I see you. Do I'm you lucky. see me? Boy. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's hashtag Raxley, and we are back with another video. So, today, you guys, we are going to be telling you the story as to why I didn't quite say yes. Why um, I had to ask twice for her to be my girlfriend. He is never, ever, ever going to let this go. And I feel like he's gonna tell our children this. He's gonna tell everyone this. Yeah. Um, you how, never brought, okay. I'm gonna tell our children how their mother got so lucky. Okay, let's talk about it. Because he still can't remember as, <clears throat> he can't remember why I said, I didn't say yes. Yeah, why didn't you, why did you say no? I didn't say no. You didn't say yes, that's a no. Oh my God, okay. So, when me, when Lee and I first met, it took me off guard. I wasn't prepared. I just wasn't prepared. I. Oh, so you were prepared when I asked you to marry me? Oh no, my God, first of all, we were prepared. living together then, and that's something totally different. Yeah, I, was, oh, I wasn't prepared, so but I mean. you were prepared, but yet you were still able to say Why yes. are you attacking me? You were able me. to say the words, yes, I do. That lipstick on my cheek, cause you don't tell me. Yes. I swear. I didn't see it. It's still on? A little bit. Oh my god. Front left too. Uh, good? Yes. Okay. All right, let's talk about it guys real quick. Um. Mm -hmm. So, when Lee and I first met, he was the one who said he didn't want to rush uh -huh. into a relationship, but he also said that he wanted more than just a relationship with me. So I knew that the long-term goal was to, you know, be together, get married, because these are things that we obviously talked about in the very beginning of our relationship. AKA, it wouldn't be a surprise. Not that it wouldn't be a surprise, but you guys, come on, this was like a month, not, yeah, about a month in, when you first, no, you didn't, it wasn't your first time coming over. Um, it was probably like his first or second time coming, second or third time coming over, actually. And um, which we had already been to each other's houses. She had come over to mine more in the beginning than me going over there. Right. Yeah. Um, so this was at least like a month in, or two months, a month or two months in to us dating. Now, total disclaimer: um, when Lee and I were first started talking and dating, he was the only person that I was talking to. I deleted Match. Like second day we started talking, I completely deleted Match. I mean, mind you, we didn't meet each other yet, but I just had such a strong connection. I had faith that, you know, this could possibly be it. I like pictured. I was the same way. I literally pictured my life with him. Like I was like, he. I could see myself having a good life with him. You know. I'm gonna be his girlfriend, but I'm not gonna say yes the first That's time. That's not. Let it go. Okay. So I wasn't prepared because. You stalled it. I'm not stalling. I'm telling them the oh. story. So when right, we you first met, I won't no, tell it. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 go. You, you keep cutting me off. So you go ahead. I won't say anything. You're so salty. Nope. So go ahead. I won't say anything. You mad? You big mad? I'm big mad. Yes. Go ahead. But I'm your wife now. What is the problem? And you lucky. Huh. <sighs> Anyways, no, that you was, lucky. That was chance you lucky. number two. You, you, chance you number two. Me? Do you see me? Boy, bye. Do you see me? Yeah, I see you. Do I'm you lucky. see me? Boy, bye. Is that the TikTok thing? Yeah, I see you. Hi. You see me? I'm, I'm, you know. Oh, what? Looks is everything to you? No, I'm not saying oh, looks oh, is everything, oh, but you I'm, see me? I'm a package deal. Like, oh, don't. Oh, you're a package deal, all right. I'm a, I'm a catch. You, you suck. <laughs> Something. Okay, let me tell you guys what happened. Yeah, you tell them what so, happened. So, Lee specifically said on our, and I remember this, because it was our second date, and we were at the movie theater, and we were talking about relation, we were talking about something, and he said something along the lines of, he didn't want to rush into a relationship, and he said this to me in person. So, I'm thinking, hey, um. Can I interject real quick? <laughs> I've been sneezing all like, day. You just sneeze. I haven't seen so all day. the second date, aka what, day four into the actual relationship? Not four into the relationship. We were talking for two weeks before we met. Okay, so four days. This was like, okay. Four days after we first met. We went on another date, right? Yeah. Okay, so. I felt like it was a week, but okay. 
Anyways, let me get back to what I was saying. So I specifically remember this because we're at the movie theater and he said to me that he doesn't want to rush into a relationship. And when he said that, I didn't ask any clarifying questions because I kind of, at that moment, I kind of felt like, hmm, I really thought we were on the same page. I'm not sure if he's just, like, you know how some guys are like, well, I don't want to rush into anything, basically, aka they, they don't want a relationship they or they don't want to be with you. I'm saying, like, guys, I feel like guys say that, and, and let me know if y'all with me, ladies, let me know if y'all with me, but I feel like guys say that because they're not, they don't have intentions of being with you long term, or, you know, they just want to play around a little bit. So I thought maybe that's what he was, that's why he said that. So it threw me off, and I thought, okay, well, this isn't something that's going to come up anytime soon. We're just going to be dating for now and getting to know each other. Yeah. Which, you know, I'm okay with. With at least for the... Okay, my Boy, mind. so he brings it up. He comes over and I think we Three had dinner. Three weeks later. Or something Three like that. Three weeks later. He comes over and... Three weeks later. Okay, really? Go ahead. You tell the story. No, yeah, no. Anyways, he comes over and... I'm done. I'm done. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not finishing the story now. I apologize. I'm nope. Sorry. Go ahead. No, it's okay. Nope. You go ahead. You finish it. No, it's okay. Because you getting on my nerves. I, I want to hear your side of the story. I'm telling you my side of the story. You threw me for a loop, and you told me that you didn't, you didn't, you wasn't looking, looking to rush into anything. <clears throat> so it threw me off. So when he came over and we're talking, and he asked me to be his girlfriend, I was just kind of like, what? I thought we were just like, I thought we were dating and still getting to know each other, like, like how are you, sh how, how all of a sudden you said that you don't want to rush into a relationship, but it feels like you're rushing into the relationship. That's how that translated to me in my head. So I just kind of was like, and he was like, you're saying no, and I remember that day, he was like, you're saying no, and I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm not saying no, I'm just kind of confused and wanted clarification, because I'm the type of person, I want clarification, I want details, I want to know why what made you not necessarily change your mind or what made you say that because not too long ago you said you didn't want to rush into a relationship so i mean it had me thinking like okay what's going on what, i mean you know like i thought we were getting to know each other whatever so i didn't say no um did you say yes i didn't say yes either so i mean you didn't have a for sure answer and then all of a sudden he gets up and he's like, he gotta go. And I'm like, whoa. So like, you know, I give him a hug and a kiss and stuff. And I'm like, am I gonna hear from you? And I was like really distraught at that point because I really didn't know. The look on his, his face, he looked like heartbroken. Like he looked like he wasn't gonna call me back. I was never going to hear from him again. Shouldn't And I asked him, I said, shouldn't have? Is that what you're saying right now? Shouldn't have? No, obviously, looking back, I'm very happy that I did. Oh, okay. Um, but anyways, so he was like, I gotta go, and I'm just like, what, like, am I gonna hear from you again? Like, what's going on? Um, you know, like, he just, he just suddenly just left. And he texted me that night, but I believe he was a little short. And we still continued, and I asked him, is he gonna ask me again? And he said, not anytime soon. So he didn't ask me again to like, a month? <laughs> Gesundheit. He didn't ask me again until like another month or so. I was at his house this time and I came from work and um, you know we were getting cl much closer obviously. Um, still had not been intimate yet as you guys know we waited six months to, to be intimate and you know he hugged me and he asked me to be his girlfriend again, and I said yes. I said last effing chance. He didn't say I'm all of that. He put it up in front because he didn't say all okay, that. Okay, no, so check he it out. He didn't say all that. He said, he asked me again while we were hugging because I came I came to visit him um, after work. And while we were hugging, he was like, he asked me again, and then I said yes. And then he hugged me, and then he told me he loved me for the first time. That was when he told me he loved me for the very first time. And then, before I even said anything, he said, you don't have to say it back. That's what he said. And I remember that as clear as day. I could give a sh when you said I love you back. What I'm saying So you holding on to me saying yes and no to being your girlfriend versus when I actually said I loved you? Yeah. Oh my God. Well, that's my story, you guys. Let me know if you guys feel me no, on that. the story. And Check let me out. know how you guys so feel. So for the first time that we had talked about it, one week into it, 
I was like, okay, I don't want to. This time frame's all jacked up. You even said it, the second date. Go ahead. Did you not say that? What? Let's Just go ahead and finish. So one week into it, I was like, all right, I don't want to rush into it. AKA, I don't want to like be a boyfriend, girlfriend, one, two weeks into a relationship. Like that's just really rushing into it. A month's gone by. You didn't give me a time frame. Did you ask for one? But you that, still did that, not. Who's telling this story? Who's telling this story? Hurry up, go ahead. Now? Cause this video's too long now. All right, so <laughs> we go into it and I'm like, all right, so obviously I don't want to rush into it and be like, oh, I want to be your boyfriend right now, but no. So a month into it, I'm like, okay, I really feel that we've gone enough time where and we we have this connection. Obviously, I have had the connection since the very beginning. Yeah, we did. And then she says nothing. Obviously, I'm heartbroken. I'm like, f this. I'm the type of person. If you've seen the old videos, I've walked out on dates where people are late to a date, a first date. And I was late a few minutes for our first date. So forty five minutes. Hear, the it first was date. not forty five minutes. If y'all want to hear about that, leave it in the comment section down below. It was not 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Anyway, so already, strike one. Now I'm asking you to be my girlfriend and you not saying shit. So obviously that's going to be strike two. And anyone else, anyone else would have been done at that moment. Some unknown being or power has kept me with you. And then all because of a sudden, Because he didn't get bam, that punani. He didn't get that punani yet, so he's still standing around. <laughs> I assure you, 100%, that because Boy, I didn't let me tell catch you your teeth, lipstick, punani. First of all, you, you, I got lips. I got lipstick in my teeth. First of all, I bet you, I guarantee it. Mm, go ahead, talk. If it's because I didn't get the punani then why did I walk away on the first date of many women who were late? Okay, I don't know, but I I'm just saying, I'm not talking about people. that. I'm talking about when I didn't say yes to being your girlfriend. I feel like that helped a lot of things. And... No, if anything, <laughs> obviously the punani wasn't the thing keeping me. Anywho. But you didn't get the punani yet! And you lucky you got that big stick. What? Get... Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm done. All right. Well, he done. And like I said, he didn't get the punani yet. And we so ain't he done. Still stayed around. And, and she we like ain't that done. Big stick. We met. We're married now. Yeah. We're happily in love. And I and get happily that punani. married. And he gets that punani. And she get that big stick. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, that is really it with the story. I mean, if you guys have any more in-depth questions I know about it. Who agrees with me? And let me know if you agree with me. If no you understand where I was coming no from. One's going. Let me know if you agree with me and if you understand where I was coming from. But don't like him because guess what? We're still together. Come over here. He loved me. Oh my god, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. No, so it can be in my Come on, give me a kiss. Thank you so much for watching. Hashtag Roxley. We'll see you guys in the next video.